Welcome to Helux, where we're bringing you another installment of Science Shoe Porn. So today, we're going to show you how to get the most stable running shoes for you. Now, why is stability important? We've found that newer runners that are less experienced, they need a lot of stability to help support their joints and their muscles so they can handle the stresses of runners. But even experienced runners can benefit from stability because they're going to be training and going longer and harder than they ever have and at some point their body's going to get tired and that's when you're going to want to rely on the stability of a running shoe. Okay, so you head into your running shoe store, you're picking up a bunch of different shoes, and you're like, man, how do I know which one's going to be more stable? The first rule that I want you guys to look for is how hard the foam is. So you can just basically take your finger and push it into the shoe like that. Harder foam is going to be more stable for you. Now, if you want maximum stability when you're looking at hardness of the foam, some shoes actually have a harder foam that's just on the inside of the shoe. When you see that, you know that you're going to get maximum stability. Okay, so rule number two when you're looking for a stability shoe is you want the back half of your running shoe to be less flexible. Now, what does that look like? A lot of shoes nowadays that are trying to be really lightweight have nothing that limits the flexibility of the foam in the back half of the shoe. That's not a good thing. Some shoes might even look a little bit bigger and so you think, oh wow, those are going to be strong and stable, but when you flex them, they're not. So what I want you guys to do when you're in your running shoe store looking for a stable shoe is see how much you can flex the back part of that shoe. If you can't flex it very much, that's going to be more stable. Now sometimes with that, you might even be able to see a little bit of a plastic piece on the underside of the foot, something near the arch. If that's there, you know that shoe's going to be more stable. We've studied a lot of runners here in the Lux Lab, and one of the most surprising things we've learned about stability is the impact of how wide a shoe is on stability. A shoe with a more narrow heel and forefoot area is going to be automatically less stable. But also, some shoes have this cutaway area in the arch, and that can really decrease stability as well. Now these more narrow features might be okay for really experienced runners, but if you need stability, and that's most of us runners, you're going to want a shoe that has a little bit more width in the heel area and in the forefoot, and is also a little bit straighter for the arch. Getting the stability you need to help protect your joints and muscles while you're running is as easy as one, two, three. Make sure your shoes have a good hard foam, not too flexible in the heel, and that they have a good width throughout the entire shoe. Stay tuned for more science shoe porn by subscribing to the Helux HD YouTube channel and make sure you like us over on Facebook as well under Helux.